we are going to use the same database that we made earlier and add some queries that we will use later when making forms. We are going to make a query for our list of service codes and one for our list of customers. We are going to use these queries when making a special type of form field named a combo box. A combo box or a list box will allow you to store the key field numbers in the field yet still see the text descriptions in the form field. Go to the Create tab and click the Query Design button. Add a table named Service Codes. Drag or double click to add the fields to the query grid. I'm going to apply the ascending order to the description field. Save the query with the name QRY Service Code List. Click the Query Design button again to make a new query for the customer list. Add the table named TBL Customers. Drag or double click the Customer ID field to the query grid. For the next column in the query, we are going to concatenate the fields together using a query expression. To build an expression, we right-click in the field cell and select Build. Using the Expression Builder, we will navigate to the Access Database file and expand the tables and open the Customers table. Select First Name and double-click. Add an ampersand, followed by a quote, a space, another quote, followed by an ampersand. Double click the last name field to add the field to the expression. The ampersands join the field values with the space between the names. Next I will rename exp1 to be called name. Double click the last name field to add it to the grid. Uncheck the box to show the field sort it in ascending order. I'm doing this so we can sort by last name yet not see the field in the query results. We will close the query and save it on the way out. We will use these queries later when we are making invoice and line item data entry forms.